Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase here on the channel. Today we are going to be checking out, once again, the Construction Wands Mod for Minecraft version 1.20.2. What this mod essentially does is allows you to auto-build, not really auto-build, but place a bunch of blocks all at once of the same type to make things a lot more simpler for your Minecraft world, and you do not have to go through the process of individually placing when you can place about 100 at a time. This is a very simple mod, but also very useful for mod packs or any other world that you might be playing in, even something like Pixelmon. If you're a type person that likes building in Pixelmon, this is a mod for you. So if you guys are ready for this mod showcase, smash that like button, consider subscribing if you're new, and the down first mod will be linked down below in the description. You can check it out for yourselves, and let's get into this construction wands mod. So the baseline of the mod is there are four different kinds of wands, the stone wand, the iron iron wand the diamond wand and the infinity wand they're all crafted with two sticks and what you would expect cobblestone iron diamond and a nether star being the final one the differences are with the stone wand you're only going to be able to place a maximum of nine blocks and the durability will be 131 with the iron wand you'll be able to place a maximum of 27 blocks with a durability of 250 and you'll be able to upgrade it with the upgrades i'll be going over soon with the diamond wand you'll be able to place a maximum of 128 blocks and it will have durability of 1561 and then finally the infinity wand you will be able to place a maximum of 1024 blocks at a time on top of that it is completely unbreakable so once you make this wand you're indestructible all the other three have durability i do believe you can use enchants on these as well yeah you can give it mending give it unbreaking if you so desire and there's two other upgrades as well the angel wand core and the destruction wand core angel wand is allowing you to place blocks in the air or behind and you'll see what that sort of means whenever i start actually showing off the wands and destruction one core allows you to destroy blocks on the side facing you again you'll see what that means but just for practice sake i'm going to show you them individually so the first time we have the stone wand this is what it does as simple as that and it does show the little grid format that you can place as well and that is like i said nine blocks at a time the iron wand you're noticing it is doing 27 blocks at a time now mind you 27 isn't even that's why these two extra blocks are here but you do not always have to place 27. You'll see the different formats of the grid as you're placing them. Next up, as you can see, we're placing the full... What did I say this one was? 15, 1,561 blocks. And finally, this one, the... Or two, 128 was that one. This one's the 1,000 block thing. So as you can see, I can literally just build to my heart's content. And if you are wondering, no, once you start building this, you can't necessarily destroy it unless you have the upgrade that I was going over, that destruction wand upgrade. Otherwise, you're stuck with your mistakes. Now, I'm doing this in creative mode just to show how it works. But if you're in survival mode, you do actually need the blocks in your inventory to work. And I'll show you an example of that really quickly. So let me get a stack of grass blocks really quickly. Go into survival and just show you. So as I'm placing this, you will notice that it does actually take from my inventory the 37, the um, grass blocks. And once you're out, it will no longer place anymore. It'll try to place as much as it can, but once you're out, you are out. And the durability, as you saw, did go down, in fact. So that is the one downside of, obviously, the lower tier wads. Their durability goes through really quickly, and you do need to actually have as many blocks as you're desired. Now, I don't imagine you guys are going to be building two crazy different kinds of structures. As you can see, what I just did there is I just extended the wall out one. But that to do alone, I had to do the individual pieces of the wand or of the uh, wall, sorry, because they're all different kinds of blocks. And even the staircases on top, you can do if you so desire, but you can imagine how messy it might get if you're not really watching the types of blocks you are placing. So just keep that in mind as you are using these, these blocks that you do need to kind of be self-aware of what you are building. But once you have the design format down, you can see you can build as much as you can. And yes, it does actually go into other blocks. It won't actually destroy them, but it will go through them. So just to give you guys a heads up on that and just to watch what you are doing if you do end up placing accidentally too much. And as you can see right there, it does differentiate between the block types, but not in form of actual building. So it did see that I was facing the path grass block, but whenever it built up, it did the entire area with path grass blocks. So just keep that in mind as well when you're building that if you have different types like leaf blocks all in a build or something, it will recognize that. However, if it's two blocks that are like very similar, like uh, I would say stone, granite, andesite, etc., there's a chance it will mess that up and place multiple over top. The only reason you guys are going to be using this mod is if you desire to place a plethora of blocks down all at once without necessarily 
as you can see, <laughs> going too crazy or overboard. This is more likely a mod you're going to be using for terraforming, or if you just wanted to dig out, like, a whole area and only place down, like, let's say 1,000 oak block, oak wood. You're going to now do that pretty quickly. But again, keep in mind, if you do not have the blocks in your inventory that you want to place, it's going to get a little bit messy. That being said, though, that's really it for this mod. Don't really have much else to showcase with it. I have reviewed this mod before in the past, but this is my first time reviewing it for 1.20. So I figured I would just sort of go all in and show you the most extreme things you can actually do with this mod. But it's, it leaves it up to practice and you guys can get used to it as you go. Just don't accidentally use the infinity wand if you don't want to have your entire village surrounded in grass blocks. Either way though, guys, if you did enjoy this mod showcase review, consider leaving a like on it, subscribing if you do. Again, the down first mod will be linked in the description down below. You can check it out for yourselves. And let me know in the comments down below if you yourself have used this mod before or are interested in using it. I'm curious to know and what mods you want to use it with. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.